Hello everybody, Marcos Cabrera here. Welcome back to the sixth episode of our Harmonica Podcast, an online event where I simply will be sharing some of my favorite harmonica records and playing along with them. Today's class is dedicated to blues chromatic players Rod Piazza and Mark Homo, both West Coast blues players. I'm pretty sure you will enjoy this episode. So stay here and let's listen to the very first song, okay? Here we go.
Oh yeah, that was No More Pretty Presence, original composition by Rod Piazza. He's playing a C chromatic harmonica over a D major blues. And that's one of the things that fascinates me about the chromatic harmonica guys, that they play this minor sound coming from the D minor pentatonic scale which is actually one draw two draw three below three draw five below and five draw and also the dorian mode over the major chords of the d major blues structure and this gives it a very dark sound that I really like listening to it. And Rod Piazza is one of the people that takes advantage a lot from that. And well, this record, California Blues, some time ago, my mother went to the United States and actually I begged her to buy me some harmonica records because in those times there were no Spotify and YouTube with a lot of music like nowadays and she fortunately bought me this record and once I listened to the chromatic work by Rod I was impressed I wanted to play like that and the thing about Rod is that he gave importance to the members of his bands. So it was a little difficult for me to play this tune because in the mix, the harp song is just right, but it's not that high, you know? So it's more difficult to listen to it because the other instruments are with a huge level too so the harmonica is like this and the other instruments are like this different from other players that the harmonica is up here and, and then the band is like here and what I can see is that Rod is a tone blocker so for example on, in the intro of this tune So he's actually playing with his mouth open on the harmonica and with the tongue on the left side of his mouth getting the single note through the right sound, right side of the mouth, right? Um, so you can take out the tongue and put it again and get that bouncy sound but he also plays some poker things like on that outro that is at the end of the song so you know that vibrato that bendy expression it, it only it's easier to happen with the single note so i believe he's playing single note pokering technique in some parts and well he really takes advantage of old harmonica you know like on the low side to the high side which is something i really love and he's also playing some different intervals and not only octave, you know, chromatic blues players. They play everything with, with octave and this gives uh, this power. But Rod is also playing some different intervals like, you know, this is a uh, two draw and a uh, five draw at the same time so F and 
V. So he, he really uh, take advantage of all the harmonica possibilities. So you know, octave and then interval. And that split. Well, now let's listen to the next tune by Mark Hommel, Love Shock. Everyone on my Heart of Chicago CD, this is one called Love Shock. listening to them and it's a joy to listen to it the drummer the bass player the guitar player and also the harmonica and one of the things I noticed about Mark's playing is that he's playing octave mostly of the time but with that tongue in the middle getting off and on the harmonica so he creates that rhythm and sometimes he decides not to put the tongue and he takes that whole chord and I love that and He's not playing many single notes, at least in this part of the song. This is a very long song, it's seven minutes. I recommend you to go and listen to the whole album, Heart of Blues by Mark Homo, live album. And this was easy for me to play because the harmonica is a little 
higher than the other instruments. I don't know if on the live show that they did, this was the same. Maybe it was a harmonica show and the harmonica was more important to, to be listened by the audience. Or maybe it was the mixer when they recorded and they mixed it, they decided to do this with the harmonica. But the thing is wonderful what, what he's doing there. You know, this recording definitely influenced me, even though nowadays is that I can't play the whole thing. You know, those. Well, he's actually playing a lot of blue notes from the D minor pentatonic scale. If you go to that G and make it sharp, you know, seven blow with the slide bottom in, that is going to be your D minor blues scale. And also the C sharp located on the C blow, five blow with the slide bottom in. It's another sort of blue note that you are allowed to play. And he takes advantage of that with the octave and it takes a lot of power. And well, that was it for today. I hope you have learned a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Give me a virtual tip if you are enjoying this and want to help me create more content like this. And let's keep in touch. Have a great day.